arts are an integral part of life in the nation's capital. It's everywhere. The district itself has a wonderful tapestry of art organizations and local artists. They infuse all the areas in which we live and bring a real vibrancy to life here in the district. Since 1968, the D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanity has contributed richly to the arts and the enhancement of the culture in the D.C. area. Grant making is an essential component of our work here at the D.C. Commission. These works of art are used throughout the city in public buildings as well as public spaces. The work of the NEA and the D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanities has allowed us to deeply invest in our community by revitalizing certain areas of the city that use art to bring new people there and really spur that economic development. It brings in tourists, it employs people, as well as bring a great quality of life to the district. Culture Capital invites the public to experience the arts by going online. They can decide when they want to go, buy their ticket, and connect to the organization that's offering that art. We are the door that brings the public in. The D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanities has been a tremendous partner. They serve as an umbrella organization for a number of our arts organizations that can't afford to be a member of Culture Capital or to have their works promoted on culturecapital.com. How time reverses the proud in heart. <laughs> I now make verses who aimed at art. Poetry Out Loud is a good experience for high school students because it teaches them about poetry and how to perform it and how to articulate it in a way that isn't quite possible with anything else. The NEA and the Poetry Foundation, through their work with state arts agencies, work to support Poetry Out Loud, which is a contest where students get engaged and learn poetry through memorization and recitation. Yes, Poetry Loud is a competition, but more importantly, it's an experience and one to be cherished. Diana M. James. Rhyme, the rack of finest wits that expresseth but by fits true conceit. Being a part of it made it a larger than life experience because, you know, when someone comes from the Washington Post to interview, you know you've done something pretty awesome. <laughs> and his title be long fool that in rearing such a school was the founder. Washington, D.C. has always been an amazing and exciting city, but today we have the energy throughout the city. And why? Because the arts planted their flags in areas of the city where no one wanted to go but those patrons of the arts. Now, Washington is an energetic, vibrant, and exciting city throughout because of the National Endowment for the Arts and the D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanities. On behalf of the D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanities, we want to thank the NEA. And most importantly, we want to congratulate them on 50 years of their service. And we look forward to the future. 